like I don't know where to look. Hey, Hi everybody! Guys. Welcome to Tea Time with Team Epic Reads. Cheers! Cheers. Uh, Here's cheers. to you. Today we are talking about the Divergent movie premiere. Yes, we are talking about YA retellings and the Story Crush tour. So if this is your first time uh, and you're welcome. watching on YouTube, welcome. It's a big one. Comments over here or if you're on Twitter. Hashtag. Hashtag Tea Time. time. Um, I am looking at the Twitter stream over here. And so I've got YouTube up here. Look. <laughs> look away. <laughs> look away. Look away. Um, hi, everyone <coughs> on Twitter. Hey. Hey. So um, we've got a lot on the agenda. We have a a super official agendas. Yep. And um, we've got a lot to get through. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about today, so let's just get right into it. Um, two new books, mm -hmm. two new hardcovers on sale this week. We yep. have we have the sequel to Pulse Tremor by Patrick, Patrick Carmen. Um, dystopian twenty fifty one world where people have telekinetic powers. Yeah, I'd say it's more on like the sci fi, but it's definitely in yeah. like a futuristic set in twenty fifty one. Yes. So. Fun it's times. The, it's in the future. There's a book trailer for Tremor out this week that's pretty cool. Yes. There's a lot of like lifting of cars and giant them. things and throwing them, <laughs> which I want to be able to do in real life. No, you don't. What would you use that for? I would lift all the clothes off the floor of my bedroom and put them where they need to go. That's what I would use that for. You know for. what? You, <laughs> you do already have the arm strength to pick up the clothes. <laughs> I know, but I don't want to have to like get up, up to do, do it. it. I just it. want to be able to go from my bed and be like, got oh, it. Go away. <laughs> um, also, Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. This is also new this week. This is new. Are you going to disrobe it? I always disrobe it. Oh, oh there's a little... Is there a you thingy? You can't see it. Yeah, I don't know if we can see on the screen, but there's like... Turn it to the light. A tree. It's hard to see. Oh, it's like a little, a little. It's like one of these egg. trees are. Oh, that's cool. Imprinted, um, which we'll talk more about in a little bit because she is a part of the tour. She yes. is a part of the Story Crush tour, so we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but what are you guys reading this week? Mm -hmm. Comment in the post in the comments or tweet at us. We're gonna check in here, see what you guys are. Uh, Ooh, um, Amy M says, book shimmy for the start of tea time. Uh, don't mind book that shimmy. Book shimmy. Uh, Kate Reads on YouTube says, my copy of Faking Normal is arriving today. Yay! That's awesome. I love it when books arrive. It's like Christmas. Um, a Brit Lit says, I got the Divergent official illustrated movie companion today. Sweet! Nice. Awesome. I don't think those were coming out until March 4th. The property. You know, they always you post. Know. They always put them out early. Well, Congratulations on your sneak peek. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is having troubles with this, but the YouTube comments are not loading for me. Aww. This is making me sad. Refresh. Um, Meredith says, I almost forgot about tea time, but now I'm here. You should set up an alarm on your phone. Yeah. You all should all do that. There's also, I have looked, there are emojis of a little tea. It might be coffee, but we can call it tea. It's a brown liquid in a cup. <laughs> You can just make it be I need to figure out how to install emojis on my phone. I haven't quite figured that out yet. It gets addictive. I was definitely like, don't need them. <laughs> and then I got them, and I'm like, I'm only communicating in these. Ciara Loader on YouTube says, I'm reading Legend by Marie Lu for Book Club in two hours. You have Book Club in two hours, and you what? haven't finished it? Get on that, girl. Uh, I would say stop watching, but don't. don't. <laughs> Ever so um, much. At YA Reads on Twitter is reading Erased by Jennifer Rush. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Um, Lots of people reading Legend this week. Yeah. I have a one that I'm really excited about. At Endless Reads is going to start The Bitter Kingdom. Awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Um, Margo, what are you reading? Uh, this week I am... I've already read it, but I am rereading it this week, mostly because the hardcover finally arrived. It's so much fun! For Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Oh. Look at this gorgeous hardcover. <laughs> it's... The nice textured matte mm -hmm. paper. Here's the back. Take a look at that back. I have no idea what that is, but I would like to find out. <laughs> it looks cool. I thought it was like somebody drew on it. I was like, who marked my I back? I think it's graffiti from the world. And then wait for this. <gasps> Ew, crap. Yeah, that cool. looks so good. Isn't that cool? That looks really good. I like that a lot. Oh, I like and it's lot. embossed, which is nice. Yeah. Does it, what does it, it smell like? Does it smell like it smells death? Like, no, does it, it smells like smells sweet. sweet. Oh, really? I love it. What no. are you reading this week? Um, I am reading Cruel Beauty by Rosalind Hodge. 
this came out in January. It did, but I'm just getting this kind of to it. nice together. Uh, this one comes out April 1st. We're kind of got a red palette. So this is like a little bit of a preview. Um, this is already out, and it's been on the top mm -hmm. of my two, uh, TBR pile. Um, but we've been in the... Well, not we, but you have yeah. been in the realm of YA tellings. Yes. And I have caught in the fever. And cotton? Cotton? Cotton. Cotton the fever. I've caught the fever, and this is a retelling of um, Beauty and the Beast, and I am... With Greek mythology. It's actually yes. one of the books, the few books that actually sort of crosses Crossed. genres. It's got the... It's a fantasy, but with Greek mythology, and it's a retelling, so there's a lot going on. And the world is so good. Very cool Like, sometimes world. you pick up a retelling, and it's, like, the same... Thing, but right. like characters and settings have changed. Right. This is a completely different story. In which case, it would almost be like a reimagining yes. as opposed to a retelling, yes. a classic retelling. But it still counts. It still counts. It still counts. Um, so we're gonna check out, check on YouTube and the Twitter. Yep. Um, a book and a latte says I'm listening to Uninvited by Sophie Jordan right now on audiobook. Mm. Gotta represent the audiobooks. Sweet. I still haven't gotten into the whole audiobook world. I need I, to do that. I have a hard time. My brain just doesn't work that way. We should have like a. Uh, we'll do a tea time maybe where we'd like sample some audiobooks. I love listening. I get really into like the start of them, but then like my mind moves somewhere else and I start moving my hands and I don't listen to them. I can only do them on like road trips. Yeah. I can't even listen to music when I work. So um, there's no way I'd be able to listen Heather to on Twitter says, I am des this is in all caps. Yes. I am desperate for Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I cannot wait for it. Ah, uh, yeah. You should be. It's good. You should be. It's good, you guys. There is a prequel novella out right now that you can download. It's called No Place Like Oz. Uh, I think it's like 99 yeah. cents or $1.99 yeah. or something like that. But And it's a really good, I would definitely. It's a really good prequel. you are planning mm -hmm. on reading Dorothy Must Die, it's the story of how, um, Dorothy came back to Oz because that's the big thing, right? Yeah. Dorothy left Oz. Yeah. Why did she come back? Yeah. So, so. it's explaining why she came back and maybe a, a little hinting of why she must die. Um. So you should check that out. <laughs> um. Emily at Oh Magic Hour says, "Oh man, Dorothy must die and Cruel Beauty are both must reads for me this year." Those are good ones to have on your list. Bittersweet Books Love on YouTube says, "I read the Ignite Me audiobook and phew, sexy." I <laughs> bet. I can you even imagine like those sexy scenes reading do them. They, I think they, do, they they have like how do they do? I guess there's not scratching out, but how do they do scratching out in that? I don't know. Does, has anybody read the Ignite Me audiobook or Shatter Me? And because there is no scratching, scratching out, out Ignite yeah. Me. So have you read the Shatter Me audiobook? What does the scratch scratching. out part sound like? Yeah, tell us. It's just such a, like a visual <laughs> style of writing. I don't know. Like, do you have to read it to? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Michelle, Michelle VIP04 on YouTube says, have you guys read The Throne of Glass? I have read The Throne of Glass. I have not, and people yell at me about it. Which is also a fantasy, and it's also a retelling of Cinderella. So without, without further ado, come on. this is the big thing that uh, was shared yesterday. Yeah, I spent about four months planning this thing, and a month working with our designer, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. I know she's watching Tea Time. We so put you on a stick. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> um, so we've been working for a month, and we got suggestions from you guys, and we've been planning this whole thing, and it was very exciting to be able to debut the YA retellings chart yesterday. Um, and look at that. Big it is. There is a link for this on in the description below of this video. We have... The horizontal version. We have a vertical version. We have section breakouts for each of these sections. We have downloadable versions. There's lots of things. Oh, there's fun facts about each of the original uh, stories here. So we broke it up. Um, it's just like it's a little a overwhelming. It's a mother. It is a little overwhelming. It's a mother load of information, yeah. but it's all information you want. And and like my favorite part of it mm -hmm. is like how instantly. You can see how many times the retelling's been done. Yes, it's interesting. Um, <coughs> Beauty and the Beast is the most of the fairy tales, followed by Cinderella and Snow White. The classics, there's a lot open, but Jane Austen's been done quite a bit. I'm surprised how much Shakespeare is not done. I am too. Um, I don't know why Shakespeare isn't done, but there's a lot of Romeo and Juliets out there. Yeah. And the mythology, the Greek and Roman, the classical mythology. Tons and tons and tons. There are just so many that could have been added to this list, but we had to narrow it down. But I was surprised at how little, like, there were very few Norse 
in very, very few Egyptian mythology books, which yeah. I think is interesting. But there was a hard time trying to find what are the ones that are just historical, that right. include historical figures. Like, there's all these Cleopatra books out there, but those are, she was an actual person. Yeah. So, but they mix, but a lot of these books but mix all of in those the mythology, stories, so that's why they're included. Yeah, I mean, all of those stories kind of have elements of mythology to them because it's that world. <laughs> Uh, there are a total of 162 YA books on here. Some of them may cross over with adult or and or middle grade, but we tried to find as many pure YA ones as we could find. Um, and then we have this little section in the classic lit that just says other. That's because these books, which are include Dorothy Must Die, The Madman's Daughter, Her Dark Curiosity, um, those are the only YA retellings of their original story. So this is the only YA retelling of The Wizard of Oz so far that we could find. Um, Madam and Stout are the only one of... Um, the Island of Dr. Moreau. Yeah, and in the spring we have Wild by Alex Mallory coming out. That's a retelling of Tarzan, which is awesome. And that yeah. cover is really banging right Very too. cool. Um, so it's, it's interesting to see that there's like... There's a lot of retellings that are they're just like the only ones that are out like there. Like one off. Yeah. So if you are and I mean, I haven't read two of these, but Dorothy Must Die and The Madman Starter are definitely two of my favorite Harper titles. Yeah. Like legit. Um, the this is definitely I've been seeing a lot of people tweeting about that they're writing retellings and that yeah. this has been helpful. So if you're considering writing a retelling and you're like, oh, I want to do a Beauty and the Beast, well. That's awesome. You should definitely write it. But just keep in mind that there are a lot of Beauty and the Beast retellings out there. <laughs> um, people have also pointed out that some of these are not strict retellings of Beauty and the Beast, but actually variations on it. So bear with us. Come on. This is all like a gray line. Yeah, but we try to be as accurate as possible. But of course, there's always other books we could have added and things like that. So I just think it's awesome and a lot of fun. And again, like I think that you need to block out time. Mm -hmm. And really study Go it. it. Go through it. I mean, because looking at it, you're like, oh, I get this. But there's so much good, so many good titles, and I learned about so many new books that I hadn't heard about. And I'm curious to see how many of you have read. I haven't gone. I haven't even gone through and been like, oh, I read 20 of, the, of them. Somebody yeah. said yesterday that they read 30 of them, and I was like, that's impressive. That is because cool. a lot of these are real obscure. So, um, let's see. Um, in that, at, well, first of all, there's just general. Checking in with the This is the, the best cabinet. thing ever, and I mm -hmm. didn't know I needed it, but I needed it. <laughs> kind of thing. You guys should definitely do us a solid and share it. You know, pass it around. Print it out if you're a librarian or you have um, school. Yeah, at Buffy Wannabe just tweeted, said, I think it's good to do redo Shakespeare so that people today can read it and understand the story better. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, um, yeah Shakespeare was kind of hard to find. Um, author Madison said, I could not write a retelling Kudos to all who can. Dan Daniel Garcia on YouTube asked, uh, what's the weirdest retelling on here? I would probably say the most, it is a retelling, but it's probably very difficult to figure that out, is Rail Sea by China. Uh, I, I'm totally going to butcher his last name. Mel no, 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 it looks no, like Melville, but I'm sorry. I'm it's called Rail Sea. It is a retelling of Moby Dick, but really sci-fi. I would say that's Damn. probably one of the most the weirdest ones on here. That makes me want it so hard. Yeah, it's a big it's a big yeah. book. Well, Moby Dick's a huge book. Yeah. Moby Dick is like has a place on my bookshelf mainly because I'm proud of myself for getting through. I I could not ever did it. get through that. <laughs> it's like a badge of honor. Um, I don't even know what classifies as weirdest. Yeah, I mean, there's Alice in Zombieland over here, Hideous Love, which is one of um, Harper's books. That's a, it's Dawn not a, prose. yeah, it's, and it's not an actual, it's a sort of retelling of Frankenstein. It's about Mary Shelley Who's when she was author. writing yeah. Frankenstein. So it's kind of, it's just like who, who are using elements, correct? Although, elements of other stories. It's actually mostly 100% retelling. It's just occasionally the ones that are like, it's close enough. <laughs> it's close enough. It's going on there. Um, the Feel Society said that they just posted it on their blog. Well, thank you, Feel Society. That's very nice. Cheers to you. There's a little sippy sip. Um, and at, we uh, we are attached to Sweden as in a li librarian. This is 100% what I needed. Margot just did all the research work for you. Oh, my God. It took so long. <laughs> it took so long. I have a newfound appreciation for librarians because I, 
I should have just gone to my li library and been like, do the research for me. <laughs> but you guys helped. You guys were very, very helpful. Um, and we're going to be doing some more of these fun infographics in the future, so keep a lookout. In fact, we have one up right on, now on the Epic Reads blog that just says Mystery YA Pairings. I'm not telling you what we're comparing books to, but I'm giving you the description, and you have to tell me what book that sounds like. So that'll be fun. I'm excited for that one. Cool. Well. Um, so that's that. Uh, also in the gra beautiful graphical world, uh, we posted these last night. It was a good day. In, oh, God, I'm in love with these so much. So how many of you have read Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi? How many of you know the world of Perry's Berries? If you've read this, you will know that and if you haven't read this, this is not a spoiler alert, but the world is huge. It's expansive. There's a lot of characters, a lot of different groups of people, and it's a kind of a hard, it's hard to keep it all straight in your head, especially if you, like, read this from the beginning and you had to wait a year yes. in between the books. So to sort of help with that, and if you haven't read the books, to help you get a sense of the, like, it's, what these worlds are. It's huge. We had these made. These gorgeous guides. This one. So this is a map of the places when we first meet Arya. She is living in here, and then through the course of the book, things happen all through here. This is like my most favorite thing I've seen in a long time, and yeah. I want something like this for every, every fantasy book yes. ever. Like or, I want this for Girl of Fire and Thorns. And yes. I love maps. Give me the maps. Um, you know, it's interesting. It's almost exactly how I pictured it, except that I was not aware that the Reverie Pod was so close to the Tide Compound. I always thought of it as being, like, way yeah, far but, away. Like, I guess it because, okay, th this might be a little spoilery, so mute. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. If you haven't read it. Because they take her out of the pod in some vehicle, and I assume that the vehicle was going so fast. I if was, it was just like a car. I always pictured it as like a hover. Like a plane, like a is, helicopter. They, they like describe it as like a hovercraft, but it's like how fast is that car? That, I assume that if they can build pods, they can build super it's just fast like, cars, right? But I guess they have other pods, so maybe maybe that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, there's the bliss pod. And then Mar yeah, and Maren's is that's a far stretch for when they traveled. Yeah, I, I always pictured his compound, Marin's compound, being, like, way far away. But I guess we don't have a scale. This is not to this me the scale. scale. Yeah, what is this? How, this is, how many miles? This is just to make you <laughs> feel awesome about yes. the world. And Which I love that you there is terrifying. Oh, oh wait, so beautiful. It's terrifying. It's I want good. this, like, animated. Um, another, oh, cool. another part of the world is there are a bajillion characters. So many characters. And Veronica is so good at making you love all of them. But this is kind of a breakdown because some of them have abilities, some of them have alliances. So this highlights who goes where and who likes who. <laughs> it's it's a very helpful. And that's yeah. up on the Epic Reads blog right now. The link to that is also in the description. <laughs> I prepared this time. Um, the book cat on YouTube says, I just started War and Live before I dive into Under the Never Sky. Interesting. Interesting. You're starting with that. I mean, it is a prequel. It so is a prequel. That's, yeah. That works. But I, like, it'd be so weird. My mind, going into Under the Never Sky, you'll be so... You'll be like, uh oh, I know where they are. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, Amy Hindle said you should really make one for Girl of Fire and Thorns. If anybody from the design department of Harper is watching this right now, please, please make one. Please, please make what? <laughs> um, um, let's see. What else do we have going on? What is everybody saying here? Everybody's saying, um, Kevin at, our, at Leps1824 says, I love maps. They honestly help me to understand the story and setting so much more. I think that they're so great. I mean, I, I reference have, maps all the time. I I'm reference like, them all the time. They're like, oh, we traveled for a month from this place to this place. I'm like, how far did they go? Flip back, flip back. Oh, it was not that far. I'm yeah. like, come on. It should have taken you that long. But right, um, you're traveling by foot. <laughs> at YA Book Queen says, ooh, that landscape map for Under the Never Sky is epic. It's an epic. <laughs> it's epic. <laughs> and it's an epic read. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those are awesome. Uh, the one I thing I wonder is, like, yeah. do you look at the maps... Like, somebody who hasn't read Under the Never Sky... Would you look at that and does be like, Does seeing this make you want to read it? What does it make you feel? 
I don't know if it appeals to somebody who hasn't read that. What's your problem. age and where do you live? Yeah. And can we contact you about signing yeah. up for our newsletter? Yeah. No, I genuinely want to know. Because I've looked I at maps it. before and I'm like, cool. That makes me want to see it. Um, Becoming Books on YouTube says, I love that Theo is photobombing. Theo photobombs us everywhere. He comes with us everywhere we go. We will we, bring we him. We go out to lunch. We do go out to lunch. That would be we funny. We're just like, Taking him down the street. Don't worry about it. Cool. <laughs> He's our posse. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is going on this week? Um, we have the Story okay, Crush Tour. Tour. So many things. That starts this Saturday. So all of these fine, fine people, they're all ladies. I can say ladies, are coming to you Here, in bookstores. Okay. So we have The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. Panic by Lauren Oliver. And How to Love by Katie Katugno. So, facts. Facts. Lauren Oliver is not going on all the events. Yeah. She's going on some of them. All the link for the info on the events is in the description below. There's a theme here if you want more info. But there's a theme. What's up with these books? They're all real. They're all real times. All the real times. No dystopian world tier. This one is sort of like, I'm trying to come up with like a one-line zinger for this oh, yeah. one. But this okay, one this is, is like a, one. yeah, this one's a hard one. Yeah. Um, this is more of a coming of age. I would yes. say of, of the ones here, this is definitely more of the coming of age, classic coming of age type yes. of story. Told from a guy's point of view. Ezra. I like that name. Besties, warning about, there's lots of feelings. It's a hard one. This is a good friendship one, it's, but it's going to be hard to read. It through. will get you right here. Um, Panic is more of like a, it's not a thriller, but it's, um, it's a little bit grittier. Yes. And mm -hmm. um, it's a competition. I mean, it's just a competition in the real world and kind of has the stakes of um, um, what it means to be in a poor town. Yeah, for me, this book isn't about the competition. Like, that's called Panic. It's more about, like, Growing up in a rural, poor community and wanting to get, get out, out, and how do you get out? Yeah. How do you move beyond? Because I feel like so many people in those communities get stuck. You know? Yeah, and I mean, like, all there's three kind of perspectives, and mm -hmm. all three of them, that's all, well, no, not all they want to do, but that's the main impetus of, like, I need to grow past this. Um, and it's Lauren Oliver's cool writing. Cool writing. <laughs> uh, How to Love is a story, a very realistic look at teenage pregnancy, but also relationships and how they aren't always perfect. Yes. Um, Faking Normal is a, boun a bouncing back, man. <laughs> this is how do you channel your brave. Yeah. That's, the t that's the hashtag and tagline for this. How it's do you, pretty much perfect. How do you overcome your... The worst moment. Yes. Your worst moment in your life or just being in being a teenager is yeah. rough. Oh my god, it's Being so teenagers rough. in general, but there's also big things mm -hmm. that can happen to you and how do you... How do you overcome mm -hmm. them? How do you, how do you address you, it? How do you carry it? Yep. And how do you heal? Yeah. This book isn't about... The, the bad thing that happens to the main character, like yeah. a lot of books are. This is about how you heal, um, which, which I really like because a lot of, there's, um, like I've been reading Ellen Hopkins stuff lately, and she always, a lot of her books are about the thing that happens, happens. the issue, yeah. and, it's, and it's never really the like, okay, so that happened. Now what's the next year Where's the like? rebuilding? Yeah. Exactly. So that's what this is. Um, and it's really great. I think the one thing, after just running through these and knowing these authors, the dynamic between the five of these people is going to be cool. <laughs> we have to have a little pose so we can screenshot Ooh. it later. Okay. Ooh, it it says a novel. I love that. A novel. Okay, ready? And silly Steve. face. Should we do a film? Oh, is oh, this okay. a screenshot for? We'll do our screenshot. I've of been the working week. on my face for what? this week. I haven't okay. even thought about it. Okay. All right. You ready? No. Get, get ready to screenshot. You've got so much. Okay. Wait, do you want to think about it? No. Okay. Ready? All right. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> the end. Did you hide? <laughs> yeah. Me. Now I'm gonna be making that crazy face. <laughs> okay. Let's try. <laughs> cool for me. Oh, yeah. Boy. Let's check in. Let's, let's check in, in a little bit. I know. I feel like we just data dumped on everybody. 
Oh, Omar J.R. Book says, Margo, are you okay? You sound kind of sick. Yeah, last week I lost my voice um, pretty pretty severely, actually. Um, and I'm it's still back. recovering. It's, it's back. I sound more human th today. Um, Heart, at Heart Heart Books is going to the Atlanta stop of the Story Crush Tour, and she can't That's wait. Awesome. That is awesome. Take pictures and tweet them to us yes. or post them on. Oh, if you do go on the Story Crush Tour and you take pics, use the hashtag Story Crush Tour on Instagram so we can see and double tap them. Um, double Leah. tap some Insta G. Yeah. Uh, it's a new girl reference. <laughs> Leah at YA Book Queen says, The beginning of everything, How to Love and Panic, are all great reads. All difficult stories to set aside. Panic. Oh, that's so lovely. That is so that's lovely. So lovely. Panic comes out next week, by the way. Yes. All the other Story Crush books are available now. Um, also, after this, yeah. we were inspired by Panic, and we made fun things with oh, yeah. Lauren Oliver. We the first... The first one we'll be putting up after tea time. Uh, there's a lot of but Harper people in it. Yay! You spot your Harper employee. It's only like 40 seconds long, so you have to watch it. You have no excuse not to watch it. You've got the time. You've got the time. I um, mean, if you can sit here and watch tea time for 40 minutes, you can watch it 40 Give us 40 video. more seconds. And you have to love it. You have to love it. Because we edited it. <laughs> edited it. Um, it's really silly. It's really silly, but we want to know because it makes you think, and we had funny discussions. And, and we hope you comment, it. yeah, you, we hope you comment, because there's a question at the end that you should, we Oh no, um, I yeah, saw yeah. that Maggie tweeted, yeah. I missed my puppet. Oh, there we go. Maggie, the designer of the YA retelling chart. Uh, and she helps design a lot of things that come She's from. commenting, so, right now on YouTube, so you guys should go say hi. And she's also a crumpet. And she is a crumpet. I love it. crumpet. Crumpet. Crumpet for Maggie. Crumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie Crump. Maggie Crump. We should have a little, we should have like special dances for everyone. Uh, <laughs> so the story, I will crump every time I see you, Maggie. I'll do it. So yeah, the Story Crush Tour starts this Saturday. Event info is down below. They're basically going along the East Coast down to the South. Yeah. So no West Coast. Sorry, West Coast. Or Midwest. We don't have control Midwest. of these things. I wish we did. I wish we did, but what can you do? We've got other jobs. <laughs> Um, so, Lauren Oliver, uh, just quickly, is having her New York uh, events yes. this Sunday with Lev Grossman. It's at the 92nd Street Y. Tickets are still available if you're in the New York area. Um, she will be dressing up. I have yeah. A little bird told me that she's dressing up because it's Oscar night. Yeah. I so, think she will be dressing dress up. up. And Lauren, knowing her, she'll be wearing something cool. Yeah. So... She's she's just like one of those people that walks in the room and oozes cool she's and she's, cool. she has much better stories she's about life so to tell cool. than I do. Uh, we the event will be recorded and the 90 Seconds Tree Y will be posting it. Yes. So don't um, worry if you don't miss go. out. Um quickly, next week we are not having tea time. Tea time is out next week. I'm sad about that, but happy because we're gonna go see this. We're going to the Divergent premiere! <laughs> We just found out yesterday. We're going to the premiere in Chicago. We're going to meet that guy. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to piddle all over him. Just kidding. Ew. Okay. <laughs> but maybe. Because... I'm just going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for real, we have no idea what it's going to be like because we've never been to a premiere mm -hmm. before. We've, we, we, we've never done these things. We are technically press, and we are getting red carpet access, but... Who knows if we'll be able to snag? It'll be Shailene, Ansel, Theo, no, and, and Veronica Roth. Roth. Yeah. So we want to catch them all, but I we don't know we don't know if we have the skills to do it. I because so I don't know if doing this. Hey Theo, want to come talk to me? anybody? Hey, <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh my god. Um. Anyway, we're really really excited. I can't. Uh, I'm so excited to see this movie. I'm sorry that we just kind of gloated for a good 30 seconds. I'm, I, I, I can't contain it. I can't not gloat. I'm so pumped to but see this. We are in lieu of tea time. Follow us on Twitter and Vine and Instagram. We will be documenting. We're in. Thing. We're in Chicago for the shortest amount of time. We're flying in Tuesday afternoon and out Wednesday morning. Yeah. So we will be pushing out that. Information. So in lieu of tea time, follow us yes. for all of our freakings out. In Instagram, Chicago. Vine, and Twitter, all just at Epic Reads. So go follow us. Go forth. And then our goal is to make some video to share. To make things. To share later. To share later. <laughs> but 
But yes, our we will share as much as possible while we're on tour, um, so it'll feel like you guys are there because we want to bring all of you with us. But this is so exciting. It's so exciting. Um, I saw some people ask if people are going to the LA Fancy premiere, and people from Harper are, but those are the people that actually like made the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the people who Those flail like about it. Very important office. people, yeah. not people who are, would be flaily. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we they uh, have allowed us to go to Chicago to hopefully not embarrass the company as a whole. Very exciting. We're very excited, and um, we're excited. That's uh -oh. it. We're excited. And then, like, the week of Divergent release, we'll have a special tea time, and we're going to do all the Divergent things. Maybe we'll have, like, some chocolate Dauntless cake or something. Yeah. That would be fun. Um, um, so, I mean, if there's anything here, we're, like we said, we yes. don't know what we're going to get or what we're going to do, but if you guys have anything that you want us to try to ask them, yes. we might not even see their faces. We... We have no idea. Or so, what you want to see. We can't show you any part of the movie because no. they're not going to let us do that. But but if there's like, oh, they're in Chicago. I want to see this. Or, oh, I want to get pics of, I don't, know, I don't even know. What do you guys want to see? So just know. go in the comments and tell us. Because we'll try otherwise, to it's just going to be us Kermit flailing. <laughs> Kermit arms. <laughs> um, oh, my oh, God. Oh, they've made a horrible decision sending us. I know. I hope the because people who decided who said yes are not watching. This those. is a fact. Margot and I have keep, kept our cool about the conversation until this exact. Moment. <laughs> <laughs> I get to meet you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope my voice doesn't sound like Joan Rivers <laughs> <laughs> or Fran Dresser. I don't know who I sound like, but I hope it's fixed. Oh, um, at my secret voice says, "Don't worry, you'll be fine. Meeting celebrities is easy. Just play it cool and freak out on the inside." You know, I tried doing that. I met um, John Malkovich once, and I was like, "Hey, I saw you in Aragon," and he was like, "What movie?" And I was like, "That one that no one else saw." <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm so like awkward around celebrities. Here's the thing: I'm <clears> like, <throat> I wonder if Christian will be there. Christian Madsen. Yeah. I, here's the thing us. with me: I was in theater, and I encountered a lot of yeah, celebrities, you have. but not ones that, like, I've known that there are the accurate representations of people I fangirl in books, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Like, you see a celebrity, you're like, oh, I saw that movie, whereas this, I'm like, I've been looking at your face for a year now. Yes. I've been stroking your back for a year. I've been reading the character that you're playing for four years. This one smells funky. <laughs> So it's got higher stakes for me, and I don't know if I can not freak out. Oh, God, I'm so excited. We'll see what happens. We should have, like, a, meet, a freak out meter that just gauges our level of, like, how much we're freaking out in a given moment. I'm so excited. If any of you are going to the Chicago events, let us know, and uh, if you see us there, say hi. shout out, say hi. We were at the Dark Days event, and I saw a couple people tweet that so that they didn't come up and say hi to us. Always come up, say, oh, hi. Come up and say hi. We want to meet you. We are not scary. No. We are not Theo <clears throat> we are not uh, Greek gods like Theo James we can be spoken <laughs> to. Uh, people are requesting that we bring snarkles. Unfortunately big snarkles is he's on vacation. He's on vacation. <laughs> we'll not... explain that a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> he's on vacation. We could take a mini he's safe. We could take a mini. We could take travel size snarkles. Okay. We'll take a travel size snarkles, but mini is on Probably vacation. not to the red carpet because that would like Theo. They're definitely not coming to us if we show up. Come, come to me. I have a dog toy. <laughs> oh, I should probably stop talking now. Okay. Um. So, so again, reminder: we will not be here for tea time next week. We'll be on the road. We'll be on the road. You will be able to see us be awkward in other forms. So yes, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Also, this is the cover of Entertainment Weekly this week. I like that the thing says. Um, and and ins inside the fan phrasing, why Hollywood needs the movie to succeed. I cannot stress this enough. This is when you will need to call in all your favors or your friends and your family yeah. and be like, this the opening weekend, it's super important that opening Gold. weekend, oh, everybody yeah. goes to see this because that helps determine whether a sequel will be made. Yeah. That helps determine like if the opening box office is good, 
that's good for the rest of the, like, the projection trajectory of the series. And if it's good in the box office, that's good for all of YA. It's so good for all of YA, because you know all these people who have not they're been introduced waiting. to YA. And they're just waiting to be like, oh, another one didn't do well. Exactly. They'll be like, oh, what's this book? Oh, I'm going to go read it. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Now what else should I read? Oh, oh all of oh, these I'm other read them all. things. So the better... Why adapted movies do in the box office, the better for us, the better for you, the better Where for we everybody. Take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is I'm, our spiel I'm for life. Drafting my email that I'm sending to like all my high school and college friends, being like, I don't care if you don't if this is not your type of movie, you were seeing it. See it. Or I am unfriending you on Facebook. <laughs> oh, such a threat. <laughs> um, should we check in? Is everybody Oh, um, Dystopian Book says, what am I supposed to look forward to on Wednesday now? Here's the sense. thing. If we get back on time, maybe you'll see us for a second. It's up to the airline. Yes, <laughs> which it's literally up to LaGuardia, and I wouldn't put any... LaGuardia and O'Hare. I wouldn't put oh. your money on that. Yeah. So last time we tried to travel, our flight got canceled, and we had to drive six hours to get to where we were needed to go. So, so we just don't want to make any promises. We can't keep. So no promises, but stay tuned to us on Twitter. If 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 we do just pop on quickly on Wednesday, we'll let you know. Yeah. So that's it. That's been tea time. That's and that's our show. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in. T tuning poop. If I can't <laughs> tuning into poop. Um, I just want to give a shout out. Uh, a teacher tweeted at us earlier this week and said that she's watching the recap of this uh, with her middle grade class. So, oh, hey everybody. Hi. Hey. Thanks hey. for watching. I'm in your school. <laughs> Go. That feels weird. That feels super weird. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even remember the last time I was in a middle school. No, me either. Well, well, I don't think that like you're allowed to anymore. Middle just schools. like wander on them. Middle school's rough. Hang in there, dudes. You'll make it. You will make it. You will make it. Um, and high school. Spoiler alert! I was super awkward. <laughs> spoiler alert! Oh my god, I have so many fond memories from middle school and high school. Maybe that should be. Maybe if we get back in time next week, it'll, we'll just do a, like a quick like AMA. Ask me anything. We can just yeah. talk about our divergent stuff in our high school and middle school memories. Cool. So mark it. So, Otherwise. Otherwise, we'll see you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime, we will be divergent flailing. Divergenting. Yes. Oh, speaking of divergent, did you? I'm sorry, I just for, I forgot about this, but Sephora has a makeup line coming yes. out, mm -hmm. and it looks so awesome. It's her first movie tie-in collection. Sorry, I got super girly on you, but I love makeup, so she does, and she I, goes to Sephora all the time. Uh, all the time. So I'm so pumped to get that collection. The end. The end. End scene. All right, we will see you guys. Oh yeah, giveaway. We're giving away uh, the Story Crush books. We got. We're gonna have ten winners. Fill out the form. It's in the description below. Them, we'll leave it up for like a couple of minutes. You know, half an hour or something after this. Go fill it out. Do all. We will things. announce the winners on the blog. Um, go to epicreads.com to see the, all the YA tellings, retellings. Yes. Goodness and the under the never sky mapsness. It's been a good week, guys. It has been a good week. A good week. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. We love you. Book shimmy for the crumpets. Book shimmy, book shimmy, book shimmy, book shimmy, book shimmy. Book shimmy. I can't do it without saying it. <laughs> okay. It, All right. It, it goes into my process. Bye. I don't know why I just did that. All right. Stop we'll it. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. And broadcast. Stop.